In this video, we're going to be using Murphy and McNeil. That's BDLM2. That's Barbershop de los Muertos 2, number 2, and the Rockwell 6C. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. And as mentioned before, we have another special one for you. Today, we're going to be using Murphy and McNeil BDLM2. That's Barbershop de los Muertos 2. I believe that's a 2 right there. Awesome label. I really love the artwork. It's got a sort of really shiny mirror type vibe to it. This is a collaboration between Murphy and McNeil, John Perry, and uh, Chicano Designs. You'll see their logos over in here, uh, right there, actually. And this goes on sale Friday. I'll put a slide right there. And this one, another one with a really nice scent. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, if you can only get one, if you could only get one of these, I would get one, the one that I showed you yesterday. I like this one. This scent is based on Tom Ford uh, for men. Really, really nice scent. I prefer the other scent a little bit, but both of them are very good, and I'm happy that I bought both of them early. And thanks to John Perry and Bill from Murphy, Murphy and McNeil for allowing me to purchase these early to show them to you. The, these, as they come right now, come with the Kodiak base. We'll go ahead and show you the ingredients right there. Man, is there some good stuff in here. Duck fat, bear tallow, hence why it's called the Kodiak base. Cocum butter, goat's milk, shea butter, lanolin. It is definitely one of those bases that is, that is exotic. It's got a lot of good skin food in it. So if you're into that sort of thing, um, you're probably going to like it. The cost on this is $22.95 for uh, four ounces which comes to $5.73 on our price chart right there. But I must caveat, Murphy and McNeil has free shipping, no minimum. So if you knock that shipping off of there, this is going to come down to the fair to good range, um, especially if you just bought once or even if you bought a set. I mean, no shipping. Who does that? Or excuse, excuse me, no shipping price. Who does that? Almost no one. The Razor Company, I think, offers free shipping after $10, but Murphy and McNeil is no shipping. I've had a great experience with Murphy McNeil in the past as well. Just terrific customer service, terrific company in my opinion, and one that I'm happy to buy from. Okay, so today we're going to use the Rockwell 6C, which I brought with me. And again, I'm at my mother's house. And I'm going to take this apart just to show you how you know which plate, plate you're using. Because in a lot of the videos, I think sometimes we're preaching to the choir and not talking to the viewers and the folks who are new and maybe don't know these things. So you see that number five there? The Rockwell 6S 6C has six settings. This is the fifth setting. If you turn it over, the other side is the sixth setting. So whichever, whichever number is pointing down is the plate that you have. So there's three plates, each with two settings. Today we'll, we'll go with six. I'm gonna use an Astra SP blade today because it's what I had in my travel bag and it's a blade that I use Often in one that I like, it's a good all around blade uh, for me. And so we shall put it in the Rockwell. The, it, again, this is the 6C. Um, the 6S is all stainless. The 6C is one of those, you know, alloy type metals. And there we have it. And we will screw it back down and we'll be ready to go on setting number six today. We'll go ahead and roll with plate six, blade loaded. Let's get some misting going on the face. And by the way, you can always look in the links below for links to these products. This set, oh, I forgot to go with the, <laughs> let's get some scent going because I do have to splash as well. I'm just going to get some of this beautiful scent going right out of the gate. And again, this is inspired by Tom Ford. For men, it is very nice. Oh, oh man, I like it. Very nice indeed. But if I could only pick one, I would pick the one that I showed you yesterday. Just the regular BDLM. This one is two. So if you had to pick one, that's the way I would go with it. But choose them both. Choose one or the other. Choose none. Totally up to you. All right. I got my Ariana and Evans brush today, which is what I chose to travel down here with. Again, I'm not able to catch many videos right now. I've got a lot more going on. As I mentioned yesterday, try, trying to help my mom and dad trying to work at the same time and just keep everything together. 
And I appreciate those of you who are bearing with me and uh, I will get around to your videos as soon as I can. I'll probably miss some of them, but I'm trying to get a few in when I have time here and there. My my mother is certainly getting better. You know, she's able to move around things, but she's she's not able to do all the things she normally is. And so we're just helping and making sure that all is good on that front. Okay, I'm not gonna mess around with this lather all day. I'm just gonna get going. Uh, because I know this lather is going to be fine as it is. And although I haven't made a show lather, it's going to be more than adequate. I'm just going to wipe my hands off so they're not wet. And we'll get going with our Rockwell 6C. And that feels beautiful. I love the Rockwell 6C. It is affordable. It comes to you for about, you can usually get it somewhere around 50 bucks. I got this one for 40 something on eBay. Oh, and that feels just marvelous. The Rockwell is really a sleeper uh, razor, whether you get the 6C, 6S, and at some point, maybe I'll upgrade to a 6S. Um, but honestly, the 6C has been serving me well. <laughs> uh, but I do like stainless. But it, I've had a 6S before, and for some reason, I got rid of it. I don't know why, because the 6C shaves so beautifully. I'm sure I just, at the time, maybe I preferred something else, but this is a really beautiful shaver and it is out there sort of in the mainstream. And uh, I think very, very nice. And I apologize, it's that time of the year where these spots act up on my face. There's nothing I can do other than use a very expensive medication that just normally I don't buy. <laughs> Again, links below for these products. And this is just plain water. Someone asked me, uh, yesterday where I got it just look at the below the comments there's a section that has links of people I mentioned links to this soap release links to this the website where these items can be found links to whatever it is can be found I try to link them for your convenience and they will be found below very nice yeah this soap smells great if I had to pick one again I would choose the other but let me tell you right now I'm, I'm very happy with both. And uh, this is a set that is a keeper for me. And as you can tell, it's pretty warm in this bathroom. And again, I'm not gonna spend all day lathering this. You can make a very, very uh, great lather with these Murphy and McNeil subs, even if it's not the Kodiak base, even if it's Aeon, it's good quality stuff. And honestly, um, I don't know why I haven't gone back to Murphy. I think I have like, four or five of their subs now six, I think. I don't know why I haven't gone back and tried more of their offerings. Uh, maybe it's because they're not uh, as, always as splashy as some of the other brands. Now they'll come out with these collaboration releases, which are really fun, but you don't hear them as much. And uh, honestly, um, the way they do business, which is just excellent customer service, excellent products, um, I think I should visit them more, honestly. Um, I don't know why I'm saying honestly 12 times in a row, but I'm just not sure why I haven't uh, been buying more of Murphy McNeil. I think sometimes it's because there are so many special releases that you just think you'll go back and follow up and buy some of the soaps from the other companies that have these in stock. Now I believe, and I'm sure Bill will correct me below or John Perry, I believe this initial offering of BDLM is in the Kodiak base, but I believe they intend to make this available, not just as a special release, but as part of their lineup. And it will, that may not be the Kodiak, Kodiak base. So please Bill or John, uh, correct me below if I'm wrong. And I will pin that comment so people can see. Because I think this one is intended to stay around along with the number one. And it should, cause it's a good scent. And I'm completely happy with it. Completely happy with it. It's missed again. Again, I'm trying to make these video videos a little quicker because I got things I got to do. I got to go down and try to get some breakfast going and uh, get ready for work and all those kind of things. Wash dishes, whatever needs to be done. I want to, you know, get down there and do that. Plus, it gets hot in this restroom. Whoo! 
it's upstairs and it gets hot. So I don't want to be in here longer than I have to with the door shut because it gets warm, warmer than I would like. I need a fan or something. So now I know what David Gonzalez is talking about. Although it's not, you know, it's not like 96 degrees outside because it's like five in the morning when I'm shooting this because I shoot these a day ahead. But uh, I want to get this squared away, this shave, so I can get downstairs and get the day started and help out as much as I can. Oh man, what a nice shave. I'm telling you what, I'm very pleased with these offerings from Murphy and McNeil, the barbershop. Uh, Dia los Muertos, which I believe means Day of the Dead, if I'm not mistaken, offerings. They are very nice, cool artwork. I know everybody doesn't like it, but I do. Um, I don't know, I'm one of those people that I like, uh, I like skulls and art. I know that's sort of dark for some people, but I kind of dig it. Uh, you don't have to, you know, we don't all have to like the same type of things. Like I love these labels. Some people will not. Some people just won't think they're that grand and, and that's okay, just like scents. Some people may not like these scents, but I do. And so these are offerings that will remain in my den along with my other Murphy and McNeil offerings that I have. And I, I wanna say I have about four um, Murphy and McNeil soap. So I'm gonna have to revisit when I get home some of those because I haven't, I haven't used them for a while. In part because, you know, we're always chasing new things and trying new scents and new this and new that. We sometimes forget about these really good soaps. And let me tell you, as I mentioned before, Murphy and McNeil, excellent customer service. I, I mentioned this yesterday, but I didn't mention the, the full story. I had a label of mine that had an air bubble and a hole in it. And when I tried to sort of press it out, it just looked terrible. I didn't ask Murphy and McNeil for a replacement label. They just sent a full top cap just because they wanted to make an impression on the customer and they did. It's that, so, it's that sort of service that makes me want to continue to spend money with Murphy and McNeil, just going the extra mile. I would have never asked them for it. They just did it. And when somebody does that for me, I really appreciate it. So thank you, Bill at Murphy and McNeil. And of course, thanks, John Perry. Let me rinse this off. We'll come back and finish this one. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back with the magic made by witches. And this is Thayer's Cucumber Witch Hazel. Um, just in a spray bottle. And we use this every single day. This is a toner. It's got some aloe in it. Has some astringent properties. And I always follow up my shaves with the Thayer's. It really does me well, I think. And we will finish this up with the Barbershop de los Muertos 2. And again, love these bottles, elegant, nice, great scent. I'm completely happy with this release. And you know, you can't be happy with everything. Sometimes you get things you don't like. I really like both of these sets. Um, I hope you will too. But if I could only pick one, I'd pick the first one that I showed you because the scent to me pops even more. This one, I would call in scent strength about a 4.5 to slightly under medium with stuff like top sandalwood, tobacco, and Ariana and Evans, the undersea being at the 10 end of the scale, really fragrant. But this one, very pleasant, very nice. This one is not gonna reach out and slap anybody across the face if you happen to be around them, but it's just got a nice, pleasant scent. Again, look up Tom Ford for men if you are interested. I wanna thank each and every one of you. I wanna thank Murphy and McNeil and John Perry for letting me buy this early. Great offerings here from Murphy and Neil going on sale this Friday. Put the slide there once more as we finish up. Thank you very much. I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, George Shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.